Hi student, today we will learn about Coras law. Let's see the statement of Coras law. The sta it states that the limiting molar conductivity of an electrolyte is equal to the sum of the individual contribution of cation and anion of, an, of the electrolyte. Okay, now this Coras law is re uh, generally represented as this equation that is lim uh, the here lambda m sorry lambda naught m is equal to v plus lambda not plus plus v minus lambda not minus where lambda not m is the limiting molar conductivity of an electrolyte here lambda plus lambda not plus is the limiting molar conductivity of cation lambda not minus is the limiting molar conductivity of an anion here v plus is the number of cation and v minus is the number of anion let's see the application of Coras law see the uh, application of Coras law the it uh, it is applicable to calculate the limiting molar conductivity of strong and weak electrolyte okay Coras law is applicable to calculate the limiting molar conductivity of strong and weak electrolyte the second application is it's, it it is used to determine the degree of dissociation okay and the formula for uh, to determine degree of dissociation is alpha is equal to lambda m upon lambda naught m where lambda m is the conductive molar conductivity and lambda naught m is the limiting molar conductivity it is also applicable to determine the dissociations constant of weak electrolyte okay here that is ka ka is the dissociation constant and is equal to c alpha square upon 1 minus alpha where c is the concentration of the solution okay so by, these are the application of the Coras law okay now see first application to calculate it is uh, it is used to uh, calculate the limiting molar conductivity of strong and weak electron let's take an example we'll find out the limiting molar conductivity of limiting molar conductivity of strong uh, strong electrolyte will take as HCl okay now HCl when HCl is dissociated into H plus ion and Cl minus ion okay therefore the limiting molar conductivity for HCl can be written as lambda m of HCl is equal to lambda naught m of H plus plus lambda naught m of Cl minus I. Next example we will see we will find out limiting molar conductivity of Na2SO4. Okay, now Na2SO4 is dissociated into Na2SO4, it is dissociated into 2Na plus plus SO4 to minus. Okay, now here limiting molar conductivity for Na2SO4 can be written as in 2 so4 can be written as here 2 2 is the number of cation okay so here v plus instead of v plus i will write here 2 lambda n a plus plus lambda not so4 minus 2 minus okay in this way we can find out by knowing the value limiting molar conductivity of uh, respective cation and anion we can find out the limiting uh, molar conductivity of the particular electrolyte okay okay let's solve numerical for limiting molar conductivity here limiting molar conductivity of NaCl HCl and NaAc are 126.4 425.9 and 91.0 Simon centimeter square per mole inverse okay respectively calculate the lambda naught for HAC now here first of all what is HAC what is NAAC see HAC is the acetic acid the HAC is the acetic acid that is here AC means what the acetate ion okay that is CH3 COO minus ion okay and here NAC NAC means what NAC is a sodium acetate CH3 COO Na okay now 
we have to find out the uh, value of HAC. HAC means what? Acetic acid we have to find out. We have the value, limiting molar conductivity values of NaCl, HCl and NaAc. These all are the strong acid and HC acetic acid is a weak acid. Okay. So, what we will do is see I will show you one general equation that is when sodium acetate that is CH3COO Na. Okay. When it react with HCl it gives us ch 3 COOH plus NaCl okay now what happened here when we will add this to and we will subtract NaCl from this then we will get this acetic acid okay so or we can write here we will split on here the limiting molar conductivity of HAC is written here as here limiting molar conductivity of Na plus plus limiting molar conductivity of AC that is acetate, uh, acetate ion okay then minus what uh, sorry plus limiting molar conductivity of H plus plus limiting molar conductivity of Cl minus minus here limiting molar conductivity of Na plus plus limiting molar conductivity of Cl minus okay now here just look at here Na plus this Na plus will get cancelled okay now this Cl, mi uh, Cl minus plus Cl minus and this minus Cl minus will get cancelled so we will have this so we can use it so what is our formula for this limiting molar conductivity of NaAc plus limiting molar conductivity of HCl minus limiting molar conductivity of NaCl is equal to limiting molar conductivity of acetic acid that is HAC okay now we will put the values of all this here limiting molar conductivity of NaAc is given 91 so I'll write here 91 plus here HCl HCl is 42.5 sorry 425.9 425.9 minus NaCl is 126.4 okay so our answer is 390.5 Simon centimeter square per mole inverse okay so here the limiting molar conductivity of acetic acid is 390.5 Simon centimeter square per mole inverse let's see one more example now look at here The limiting molar conductivity value of KNO3 and LiNO3 are given 145 and 110.1 Simon centimeter square per mole inverse respectively. The lambda value for K plus ion is 73.5 and calculate the lambda for Li minus, eh, sorry, Li plus ion. Okay, now let's find, solve this. Here, KNO3. Okay, so KNO3 is dissociate into K plus ion plus NO3 minus ion. Okay, now so limiting molar conductivity for KNO3 is written as lambda K plus plus lambda naught NO3 minus. Okay, now here we have been given the value of limiting molar conductivity of KNO3 which is 145 so we will write here 145 is equal to K plus K plus value is also given to us that is 73.5 plus lambda not NO3 minus okay now here lambda NO3 minus is equal to value is 71.5 Simon centimeter square per mole inverse 
because here unit is also given in semi-centimeter square. Okay, now we know the value of NO3. We have the value of LiNO3. From this we can find out the value of Li plus. That is here LiNO3 dissociating to LiNO3 is dissociating to Li plus plus NO3 minus ion. So, remitting molar conductivity for LiNO3 is equal to lambda Li plus plus lambda naught NO3 minus. Okay. Now, we have the value of LiO3. What is the value of NiO3? Value of LiO3 Li NO3 is 110.1 and here the value of minus value of Ni sorry NO3 minus n. Okay, we will write like this way Li plus plus the value of NO3 minus here this one. Okay, 71.5. Okay, so our answer is lambda Li plus is equal to 110.1 minus 71.5 so our answer is 38.6 simon centimeter square per mole okay so by in, in this way we can calculate this numerical